Hello everybody and welcome back to Diana Media Pumpkin. We're continuing on with Read Only Memories, which is a fantastic so far <laughs> um, cyberpunk game that came out recently by Midboss that's set in Neo San Francisco. And um, last we left off, we just finished the prologue. We just started chapter one with Turing and my character Diana getting back to the hotel not hotel, <laughs> the apartment, uh, before meeting, trying to figure out what's happened to our dear friend. So let's get right to it. This, um, hopefully this part won't be as long as the other part was. Do, do, do. And we'll hopefully we'll get some good, a good chunk past there. <clears throat> You know, your Crassula Ovana isn't doing very well, Diana. And yes, this is where chapter one begins. Sorry. <laughs> Have you been overwatering it? My what? Sometimes things just rattle out of you and I have no idea what to do with them. Don't plants need lots of water? Um, that one's kind of funny to respond to a moment ago with don't plants need lots of water. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. That's wilty. I got it from a friend a couple of months ago. Or mildew? Time to give a landlord another call. Or we have more important things to worry about. Um... I want to go with Wolty. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Okay, so what do you want me to do about the plant, or... Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. The other two are the same options. I'd like your authorization to have a few, tool few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I have figured, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had... Sure, turn whatever you want, or, well, forgive me for giving a damn. I'm gonna go with that one, because, yeah. <laughs> it was not intending to insult you, but I should have chosen my words more carefully. Yes, you should have. Though, if you really do intend to care for this plant, I suggest you let me do as I see fit. I mean to only help you. Sure, turn whatever you want. The other option was no, don't ask again, which I think is stupid. Excellent! The supplies should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, one other thing, Diana. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of Crasta Lovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is a scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies is a bit shaky, so it could be all rank superstition. Um, oh yeah, I still get to ask about the mildew. <laughs> I have, in fact, already taken care, taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. But, considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I'm not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a net search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I will continue to for formulate a stratagem. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. Oh, it'll really put the whole... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I can't talk. It'll really put the whole room together. You know, once we get the sink fixed... Oh! It's almost time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. Really? We should make our way to Stardust soon. The city map is updated with the location. Talk to plant. <laughs> Hi, a wilty nice leaves or ugly plant. Why aren't you dead yet? 
With more of that, we'll surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. This action will have consequences. <laughs> that sounds so dire. Nope. Uh, back escape. Can I talk to Turing? Nope. Keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, Buddha Plappy. It is useless after whatever Turing did to it. Shame. My coffee mug is gone. Oh, it's over there. How many long nights have you been up drinking coffee and trying to get an article in before the rent was due? <laughs> Too long. Oh, uh, look at the door. The landlord probably paid more for this door than anything else in the complex. You command the door to stay locked. It leaps stoically back at you. Okay. I was hope oh, I can talk to Turing. I want to use the feet. Sorry. These damn headphones. If you examine those headphones on the items menu of your lips type in mobile as a device, you will be able to play any kind of music you'd like. I want to see what they say about the milk. Yuck! I don't have taste buds and this makes me glad I don't. Can I talk to Turing? Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. Oh, same. That's weird. Open inventory. Uh, ooh, okay. Play music. Why not? Ooh. Piano theme. See if it's waiting to load the music. Oh, it's that one. That's cool. We haven't met, gone to club started this. Let's do this one. That's the intro. Yeah. Oh, it's only when you play it. Okay. Your ID card. Look at ID. A small plastic ID card with your name, picture, and stats. Alright. Let's get to the map. Good old San Francisco. So, let's see. Do I get a cursor? For a fun fact, it looks like, okay, so this is Golden Gate Park. I used to, I grew up near the beach, so apparently where this apartment is, is where, in the general, the sunset area of where I used to live. I now live in this general area over here. And the wharf. It's pretty cool. So we are going to Stardust Club in the Castro. This looks about right. Well, this looks like the place. I'm assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. When the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust. Hopefully, you find Tomcat inside. And some answers. Parked car. A 2060 ZS Coup. Perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune of credits on a car. You push the car. <laughs> Let's see. An ad for the latest 25 Coup starts playing as you approach the car. Interesting. Look at Reef. They've really gotten into the holiday spirit. The door to Stardust is inviting. It looks packed tonight. Look at Bouncer. The Bouncer for Stardust seems almost pensive as he watches the street, pausing every now and then to take a drag from his vaporizer. It's an open. This sign is on 24-7. It's a sign for Stardust with a fancy neon script. <laughs> Agreed. Plants. These planters are completely self-contained. Bacteria live in the base. They take in oxygen and release CO2 while keeping the soil rich by breaking down decaying material shed by the plant. That is pretty cool. Poke plant. You tap on the glass, the plant doesn't seem to notice. I think that was all. Um, window. You take a look inside, inside the club. It's busy enough to feel like the place to be. But not so busy that you can't move. I wonder where... In the cash show, this might be. Of course, it doesn't have to be like a completely 100% cash 
committed to like San Francisco layout because no movie is ever committed to San Francisco layout. But it's fun to like, you know, speculate. Alright, let's talk to him. Always good to be buddy buddy with the bouncer. Welcome to Stardust. Can I hug the bouncer? You try to hug the bouncer, but he pushes you back with a cold glare. Aww. ID. Alright, looks good to me. Yay! Go in. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before, Diana? Nope, not my kind of place. This is my first time. I don't think it will be my last, or who could stand the music? The music? Not even like hardcore club music. Has a beat. Yeah, I'd come back. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights have on the auto auto not bleh. autonomic sorry, nervous system. Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we have achieved our goal. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Usually good start with the bartender. Let's check the bar. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Random glass of whiskey. It's a shot of whiskey. It's not yours. Duh. Bartender. Look at bartender. A gruff looking man holds down the bar. He seems friendly enough given his size. Movie poster. Red World. An indie flick premiering in the Castro Theater. The film trailer starts to play, but is designed more like a commercial advertisement. Too consumerist. Zazen poster. A poster for the band Zazen, one of the more popular live acts here in the city. Might as well get used to some beats. There's a free song preview attached to the poster. Better not listen too long, though. Posters like this charge if you can listen past 30 seconds. Um, if you guys ever seen the movie or the new TV series, which I enjoy, Minority Report, I really liked... Well, not liked, because it would be annoying. I loved how they presented how they thought ads would be in the future where they scan your eye and try to make it like custom what i like about this is it's not intrusive like you can choose to listen to listen to the advertisements but i think for posters that would be pretty neat uh but yeah it'd be pretty messed up that you'd be charged to listen to a whole song just from listening to a poster but they gotta make the money somehow scrap buried poster a new single by zazen sponsored by arena box Oh, same thing. Starts to play loudly. The new single. Poster with a face on it. It's a poster ad for the new art exhibit at the New Drive in the Fillmore District. Nope. Can't use that. Zone 3 poster. A flyer for Zone 3 in New arcade about to open in Japantown. Wonder if there is a... There's probably some type of, like, reason why it's called Zone 3 in Japantown. You touch the poster and an ad plays for Zone 3. Come down to Japantown and relive experiencing all your favorite retro classics. Only at Zone 3, opening next month. Cool. Yes. Okay, so. Can I sit? You're not here to relax. Boo. Okay then. I'm not going to try to steal another person's drink. Because that's just messed up. I want to touch the bartender. No, I'll talk to the bartender. Hey, friend. What can I do for you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> what it'll be? Blue boy. Fucking I don't know. <laughs> Buzzer. More. Bionic femme. Tastes like orange. Garibaldi. No, I wouldn't want to drink Garibaldi. Even though if he was an interesting character. Canopy, ingredients and ratio, seven minutes. Wow, that's a lot. Drinking game, sour apatini, clumsy, Belar Belarusian, Whis whiskey Rita, spicy gentleman, Sazerac. Wow, that's a lot. Hassy Spike, no sugar rush, PT, sober chauffeur, sunshine cloud, sickly sky, green tea, beer, radio master. TMF, Tokyo Tea, Wiener Juice, Butch Flower, Natasha Allegri, Wolf Bite Shot. I wonder if I can go back. Michelada, Gut Punch, Antarctic Harvest, Core Appeal, 
Fluffy Dream, Rusted Lace. I wonder if that was rust. No. More. Subtle, subtle Bitch, Persian June, Whiskey, Cur Royal, Modest Connie, Onyx Rum. Wow. Bears, Winter Teeny, Scotch Drop and Roll, Doogies and Cream. Power Play, Den Svenska, George Summon. I wonder. Yeah. Blue Fairy, Airdrick, Rusty Nail, Groggy Nog. Netherworld, Blue Boy. Oh, it starts again. Okay, so it starts. That's good. Let's see, which one do I want? Tastes like orange Garibaldi. Um, seven minutes in heaven. Whiskey read I'm not a whiskey person. Sazerac, no sugar rush. Sickly sky. I'm gonna go with Tokyo tea. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Drink, drink scenario. The free and open alcohol. Alcoholpedia says, melon liquor with vodka, rum, tequila, gin, and triple sec. That sounds like a drink I would actually drink. If I had all that, I would try to do that because they're having a contest about that. Um, I'm not sure by the time this uploads whether that contest is still going, but yeah. Uh, Midboss is having a fun contest about you trying to recreate the many drinks from the drink scenario. You're supposed to take a picture with your drink um, and I guess I think that's it or you make a comment on whether it actually tastes good or not um, I'll link to the I'll link in the description though huh all right you got it coming right up Tokyo tea served now what is it you need to know could you tell me more about yourself we're looking for Hayden a friend has gone missing do you know him or I'm meeting Tomcat I say let's buddy up with the bartender. Oh, ha ha ha. I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. I've been manning the bar at Stardust for longer than I'd like to admit, and owned it for a little bit longer than that. Don't places like this come and go in a flash? What did you do for Starbus? Or we'll talk about something else. That's true, and it was true about the Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that, interest dried up, and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But I suppose I'm just a stubborn guy and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha! Ah. After two years, things started to pick up, pick back up again. We got some regulars around. They started bringing in enough new folks, and it reached critical mass pretty quick. What did you do before Stardust? Mostly, I got myself into trouble. When I emigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, and I know how to crack skulls, so that's what I did. In the end, I guess I wasn't cut out for that line of work, and after one close shave too many, I got out. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. Um, we're looking for Hayden, a friend that's gone missing. Do you know him? Or I'm meeting a Tomcat. Do you know where they are? I'm going to go with Hayden. Hayden? Older guy, does some kind of computer work at Parallax? I think I know who you're talking about. Don't know a thing about him being missing, though. He comes in here every couple of weeks, hangs out at the bar, and chats with people. Typical stuff. Doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young program programming talent. I can ask around, find out if anyone has seen him lately, and I'll let you know. And then finally, meeting Tomcat. I'm pretty sure I saw Tomcat come in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask where you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking down on the dance floor. If they had come around here, I'll tell someone's looking. I'll tell them someone's looking. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck. Yeah, first one's back to Where is my drink? Dang it. Then a glass of whiskey. Items. To have it in, oh, I have it in my thing. Nice, refreshing Tokyo tea. Drink Tokyo tea. That hit the spot. You drank your drink. I wonder if you can get drunk. So, here's the bar. Dancers on the floor. The party never stops at Stardust, open 24 hours a day. Rad Dancer. Look at Rad Dancer. They're really into dancing right now. Talk to Rad Dancer. Hey, what's up? 
Having a good time? I was wondering if you know anybody named Tomcat. The other one was Are You Tomcat? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, I never heard of him. You should check the bar. Why is a table? Look at table. These fancy tables have little touch screens where you can order drinks from the bar and browse the mesh. Cool. Use table? You don't have anything good to put on it. Or under it. Okay. Look at dancer. You look really hyped. Talk to dancer. Alright, let's dance in. <laughs> let's. But first, have you heard of anyone named that? Oh, Tomcat. Yeah, I think I was dancing with a person by that name a bit ago. No idea where they are now. Try checking the bar. They've got some wicked drinks, by the way. Alright, let's try it. Ooh, you get a face. Like, image. Profile. That's where I go. You all have faces. A woman stands at a drink table, quietly people watching. Not gonna touch a random stranger. Yes? What do you want? Hello, I'm looking for a person named Tomcat. What the hell? So you head right up to the chick with the ears? Because of course she'd have the cat name. I get it. I'm freaking believable. Sorry, you're just the only person standing here, which is not true. Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have assumed. Or don't get your fur in a dot. I'm just asking around. Um, I'm going to go with that one. Poof, nice save, jerk. Listen, I'm cruising for cuties, and I don't appreciate you blocking the view. I don't know where Tomcat is, so shove off. Um, okay, let them know I'm looking for them if you see them. Well, excuse me for trying to talk like a normal person. Um, I would like to be bitchy, but I don't think I am. And, yeah. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. Jesus. Hey there, I heard you were looking for me. What can I do for ya? Are you Tomcat? The one and only, although I'd prefer if you keep a little quieter than you have been. I do my share of moseying on both sides of the law, if you know what I mean. I know this person has an accent. I'm attempting the accent, but... I cannot do an accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it, anyways. Um, sorry. Sure, is that why that woman was giving me such a hard time? I'm gonna go with that one, because that one was a bunch. Nah, Jess is just a bit of a prickly pear. She probably gave hell just to, give hell to just about anyone who wandered up and started bothering her with something. Don't matter what. So what do I owe the pleasure of our meeting here? A friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. We found a note saying he was going to meet you. Hayden is missing? Well, that's sour news indeed. I see you got his little rob with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me? And my creation? Hayden never mentioned your involvement to me. Sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back, on, the back end on your OS so that the AI code Hayden wrote for you would interface properly with the network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went on into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more than that, and I didn't have much to do with your core AI routines, so I can't really elaborate. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Sorry dear, anything else I can help with? Tell us about yourself. How did you know Hayden? Seriously though, what is Justice's problem? How did you know about Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout ran out, when he tapped me for my expertise in cracking the L the Lips OS. It puzzled me at the time, since he was very sharp himself. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't that most straightforward man. What was her Hayden working on? My computer runs on Lips OS. I didn't know ROMs did too. Do you know why he may have gone missing? Uh, those are all really interesting questions. Uh, let's go with what was Hayden working on. Mostly that little guy you got there. I'm sure he had his fingers on a lot of pies. <laughs> but Turing is all I knew about. My computer runs on Lips. The Live Intelligence Processing Processing System is a primary operating system 
old parallax computers used to run on, but the company has since expanded it to make it especially useful for their ROMs. It's real heavy on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits, and it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. Uh, can you explain that like I'm five? Or you do realize you're the only one who understands all the gibberish. I'm gonna do it like I'm five. I'm not rude. That's a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs within range, and they share any files amongst themselves that the user hasn't flagged as private. Yeah, I wouldn't. As techy as I am, I don't think I would have figured that one out. <laughs> it's handy in dense population areas, areas like Neo SF, since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pipes. Yuck. Do you know why he may have gone missing? I'm not real sure. He was super hush hush about his work on Turing, and that might have made Parallax upset. They work on their own projects, and I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with them. That would just mean he would just get fired, maybe even sued, but I can't imagine they would disappear him. They ain't the CIA or anything. Alright, let's let, let's learn about yeah. Sure. You may you you might never yeah, sorry. You may have even heard of me in the news. About ten years ago I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. Caused one hell of a stink, if I do say myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or a malicious criminal. I earned myself an enforced net blackout for a few years. But I think it was worth it for the prestige. Since it was legal why hack into Parallax? So which was it? Kid Genius or Malicious Criminal? What's the deal with the accent? Are you from the South? I think I get to ask all these questions, so. I guess I did it to see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target, bigger than the government in many ways. With as many ROMs as they have on the market, they need some of the toughest darn security in the world. So what was it? Kid Genius or Malicious, malicious Attempt? Ha ha ha! I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Mostly. Sometimes. What's the deal with accent? No, dear. I'm California born and raised. I read a lot of books during my mandated blackout, and just happened to get into novels about down south. I like to imagine myself as a southern belle. Maybe I just like having three walk-in closets full of clothes. Ha ha ha. Okay, and then finally, what is Jessie's problem? Ah, oh, don't you worry about Jessie, none. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to gen genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with a lot of awful pricks. Because, well... Because she's a hybrid, because of the ears, because she's a caustic jerk. I'm going to assume a hybrid. Well, that ain't the most delicate way of putting it. I'd leave her alone if I were you. You don't seem to be too well versed in hybrid issues. That's something you might want to think about working on, especially if you plan on talking to Jess. She's sharp enough on her own, but she gets friends in low places if you catch my meaning. She owes me a favor of three, but I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? Okay, so how do we find Hayden? I'm not really sure, hun, but I guess it might help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a re reason for his being vanished. Alright, I'll come back when I have the data cache. Good luck, Turin. You keep her out of trouble. Oh, shoot. That was it. I thought Turing was going to reply. Um. Let's to explore a bit more. Before we go. Mega Photo Better. It's an arcade cabinet. Mega Pho... Pho... Bitter. Pho... Bitter? Only the most ghost shooting... Only the most ghost shooting a school blasting this fun you'll have this side of the bay. Can we play it? It's currently out of order. The Arena Game Arcade Machine. The arcade version of Charge Shot, a jetpack bounty hunter deathmatch game. It's busted. The Stardust should take better care of their machines. Kart Racing Arcade Machine. 
The arcade version of Super Indie Karts, one of the most fun and dynamic kart racing games around. And I bet it's busted. Currently out of order. This machine is unplayable. Boom. Stanchion. This is the barrier between the arcade and the VIP section. Apparently sitting isolated far away from the dance floor and video games makes you important somehow. Okay, I can really look. I feel like that's a duck poster. Alright, what are you? Map. Let's see. Whoa! We're back at Hayden's, by the way. NSFPD 83. Halt, citizen! This area has been cordoned off by the new SF Police Department as part of ongoing investigations. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. That is a crazy looking thought. That's my friend's place. Is everything okay? Or listen, I really need to get in here. Let's act like we're innocent. We are, but... I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comments on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Look, I really need to get in there. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized new SFPD personnel may enter. I am required to inform you that I am set to level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. <laughs> oh, God. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loiter loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. Cannot afford a fine. We should go ahead and get moving, Diana. Yes. Hmm, that was fruitless. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. Typically, they would refuse to open an investigation on a missing person until at least 48 hours had passed. Still, we need to get in there and get that data cache. Do you have any ideas, Diana? Maybe we should just let the police take over, or I have a contact with the USFPD. I'm gonna go with that one, obviously. Who would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal inf history. Lexi, she's kinda new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment, Diana. Oh! I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers, she used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence, Diana. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Uh, sorry, it's a bit creepy when you do that, or actually I prefer it that way. I'm gonna go with sorry, because I don't care. It's okay, we'll work on it. <laughs> Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. It's not unreasonable distaste, it's the lack of money. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. That will be Detective Rivers' turn. Oh, great. Should I refresh my protocols for handling this titles around Detective Rivers? That's definitely what I recommend if you want all to keep all your teeth. Yeah. I'll go with that one. Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we, Diana? Now, lead the way. And now we're going... I need to go there. NSFPD Station. One of many. Why isn't there a closer NSFPD station? The new SF police station for the Richmond District. It has all the charm of, well, any old other old police department. Dense. This station has seen better days. The wall feels fragile. Maybe someone punched or kicked these dents in. Crime status screen. It's a map showing police activity in Neo San Francisco. Use the screen. The map has enough fingerprints as it is. I wonder. 
You sync up the headphones and the police scanner begins to broadcast in your ears. Dispatch, we have a bunch of drunken rowdy teens down by the railway at Dolores Park requesting additional units. That is cool. Let me see if it gives another one. Chase in progress on California heading west. Pursuing suspected perpetrator of attempted armed robbery. Is everything really still okay? That was weird. Desk. Look at desk. This old looking desk has tiny paperwork on it. I probably can't. I'm not going to try. Um, look at realm. An ED64 police unit attends the front desk. I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to get arrested. NSFPD72. Welcome to Richmond District New San Francisco Police Station, Citizen Diana. How may I be of assistance today? Hey, didn't I see I'm over my friend's apartment? Or I'm looking for... I'm going to go with this one because I haven't done this one. I believe you're mistaken, Citizen. Perhaps you encountered another Parallax CD64 law enforcement ROM? In my limited experience, I have found that ROMs, much like humans, do not appreciate when they are told they remind you of someone else. <laughs> I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. Tell me your location. Please give me a few minutes to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out of assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. You can find her by the Carousel Building in Golden Gate Park, but I would caution you to exert care. She is working on an investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? Is there anything you tell me that's newsworthy? I'm not authorized to comment on any investigation, ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Gina's are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you can look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the New York San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can help you with? My friend's apartment is being cordoned off. Can you tell me why? I apologize, citizen, but I am not authorized to comment on ongoing investigations. I will pass your concerns to the detective in charge. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. Have a good day, Citizen Diana. That'd be freaky. I don't know. I don't, I've don't. i never liked that in sci-fi movies. Usually, I mean, it's supposed to be a term of respect. Like when robots or whatever, like in Judge Reds, call each one citizens. Um, but it just... It seems militaristic. I don't know. Even though citizen isn't like... A mil what is a military term-ish? But yeah, it's just always rubbed me the wrong way. I'd rather them use like, well, like Miss or Sir or my first name, even though that's technically casual, but yeah. All right, to the map. Pretty, pretty map. That's where we're going. But we've almost hit 30 minutes of this already. Lots of talking, I know. Um, So we got to... Yeah, we got to go to the club, meet some people, meet some hybrids. Um, yeah, I I really tempted to like make these long episodes because like, why not? They're really interesting. I really, I think this is an interesting game, and um, I know it's a long-ish game, or at least it's a lot more involved. It's not very straightforward, which is cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll, we'll have another video soon. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, suggestions, uh, feel free to respond below. If you liked this video, please hit that like button or subscribe for many other videos. Um, and yeah, I shall see you next time. Diana Moon says. <laughs>